Hello, my name is Anna and I would like to invite you for a tutorial in using Click Competition app. Go to our website www.clickapps.eu and try it free. You will find it in Apps section where you also find several sections of apps. Contest, Functional and Sales. Competition app can be found in Competition section. Here you've got uh, various apps that enable you to make competitions like Photo Contest or Click Poem and others and we'll use uh, competition, the general competition app. Press Get it free and then Add Page tab. Now you'll be redirected to our website where there's a link and it will redirect you to your Facebook page and then in your tabs. If you press it, you'll find your newly installed app at the bottom, but you would like to change it for it position to be on top. So change it in favorites and here it is on top. So press the right hand corner and go to settings. Then you'll change the name of the app for a desired name of your competition, you also change the image. Select an image and upload a file. Now save settings and here it is with a new image and a new name. This is the administrator panel from which you can manage your app. This panel consists of several menus. The bottom menu bar shows you different options such as mobile versions or other options that you would have to pay for. But this is a tutorial in a free version so we'll be more interested in the left hand side menu bar where you can manage your app. The first section is design and landing. Here you can design your landing side so you have to choose several images to have your main page. Here you upload an image of the size 810 on 650 pixels. Now I'm uploading also the hover file. And here you can put boxes with linking area. Mark it on the picture and then press buttons where to link the app and save settings. Then go to style section. Here you can choose the color of the background, the color of the font as well as the size of the font. I will be operating in the entire app. Game view. Here you can change the image of the header and the image of the background. The header should be in PNG format because we need the effect of transparency. Usually we use JPG formats but in this case the transparency requires us to use the PNG. Then go to Contest, where you have different options on your competition. First you decide whether the competition will be only a photo competition. And if so, whether the title of the photo and the photo descriptions will be required and will have to be submitted by the entrance. Underneath you find also options regarding whether it will be also a movie contest or not and whether it requires the users to submit titles and descriptions. The same regards text, so whether the contest will also include textual entries. Then go to settings. You have to decide whether the results will be automatic or not. Then you choose the number of winners. You can also choose selection by the jury and the ending date of the competition. Save settings and go to Entries Limits to decide whether 
entries will be authorized by you or not. It is also important to choose a daily limit and the limit for the addition of the competition. Here you can specify the number of either a daily limit or a limit for an addition. After inviting friends, your users will have a possibility to submit more entries. Here you can decide how many new entries can be added after the friends are invited or after the friends actually accept invitations. Underneath you can also choose the daily limit. The last number shows the number of entries for a daily limit or for an addition. And now votes limit. This is very important to set a daily limit of votes per each user. You can either decide on a limit for addition or a daily limit. Specify the number of votes. Votes are all, all on entries and votes on every entry. Later, define votes limit after inviting friends. Here you can decide whether the user will be able to add more votes after inviting friends or after the friends accepted the invitations. You also specify the number of friends are required so that you can give more votes and the daily limit as well as the limit for addition. Save settings and go to regulations section. Now go to regulations section. It consists of three sections prizes, rules and regulations. In the section prizes you can decide whether you will include an information about prizes as well as an image of the prizes in question. Choose a file, choose a picture then go to rules section whether you can add rules of the competition. And finally, the regulations section, which includes a template of a regulations list prepared by Click Apps. In square brackets, you will find a space for entering your own data. The regulations list is very simple and will enable you to prepare a relevant regulations list without an assistance of a lawyer. You can also upload your own regulations list or put a link to your website where it is included. Save and go to social. This section decides whether the user has to like our Facebook page in order to be able to participate in the competition. The comments, in the comments section you decide whether the users are able to comment on other entries. Posting user wall is a section where you can decide whether the competition will be able to automatically post comments on the user's profile page. Here is a preview of this information, which you can edit by adding images and also changing information. Then go to activate. Here you can decide whether to activate application immediately or set a date when the app will be activated. Here you can change the image that will appear while wa waiting for the app to be initiated. And here we are, save settings, the press view, you can see preview of your app on your Facebook page. This is how a potential viewer will see your app. The user can here choose regulations, rules, ranking and prices and also decide which media to add. Your competition can also be made available on an outside website, not only on Facebook. At the end we'll show you how to generate a link and embed it in on your own website. Now you see a panel that is visible for the viewer, for the user when he wants to take part in the competition. Add media where you can decide whether you want to add it from Facebook or from a PC. 
Then you see images available on Facebook, choose an image and it will be uploaded to the competition. Then add the title of the image and a description. And here it is. Work has been added successfully. Then we can also add a movie. Choose a link from YouTube, for example, and paste it here. Check the preview. Yes, the video has been successfully uploaded. Add the title and the description. And add the video. You have to invite two friends. This means to in order to be able to upload one more entry, you have to invite your friends. If your friends accept the invitation, you'll be able to add more entries. View here. Here you see you can either share a photo or send it, see the comments, vote, and you can also vote for a picture. Then you can also add a text. Here is the title of the entry and the text in question. Add the text as an entry to the competition. You have exceeded the number of works in a day because we have submitted three entries. Here is a gallery of your entries. You can share them with your friends or invite friends to take part in the competition so that you can submit more entries. Now we're going back to the panel when we'll show you how to generate a link. Here it is, in application links. In this section you can find a redirect application link, which is here. It will direct the user to the Facebook page, if he'll be using the computer, or it will direct him to an outside website, if he'll be using a mobile device. Direct application link means that you can embed it on your website Competition will also be working on your own website. You can also generate embedded link. This will mean that your competition will be available directly on your own website. Here you choose the size of the competition app. The app can also be detached from Facebook and it can function on your website exclusively. Here you can add the new name of the application that will be installed on your own website and detached from your Facebook page. And now go to Ranking. It shows you the current fans ranking and also the number of votes and their email addresses. You can download CSV in order to be able to have the list available for you at any time. In the Winners section you can decide whether the user will be a winner and also decide on the place. You can also delete entries that you think are inappropriate. In the vote section you can download the list of votes for each single user. If you press download you will see a complete list of users who voted for a particular entry find their email addresses and also what's very important their IP addresses that will help you to locate those who are voting for an entry from the same IP addresses which means fictional profiles. New edition is when you want to start a new edition of the game. History will show you the history of past editions of the competition. Author name. This is very useful. If Facebook users are supposed to vote for your own entries, you can change the name of the author from your personal profile name to a different name. For example, company name. And now let's go back to the preview. Here you can see a gallery of all the submitted entries. These are various works, both textual images as well as video works. You can see the number of votes and you can add comments. You can also share it with friends.
From application links, you can go to the section Click Mail, which will help you to prepare a mailing campaign to your users. Here you can select different options, such as users of this application only or application users. You can see list of your users from particular application. Select whether users should be from all countries or only from a selected country. Then you can also select whether you want to send an email only to confirmed users, to all users, or to those users who have not confirmed that they want to receive marketing information. And you can send an email asking them to confirm that they would like to receive the newsletter. Here you can also edit your newsletter. You can add title of your message, you can press the email, the sender's name. This is the address of an automatic response. And here you can also pick a date when the newsletter will be sent. At the bottom you can choose a template of your email or upload a new temp template or also create a new template step by step. Here you can add links that will send the addressee to particular sections. You can also personalize the name, personalize the last name to send a, embed a link that will help the addressee to resign from receiving the email. You can add like and share that will connect the newsletter to Facebook. Here you can of course edit and then save template and send the email. First you can send a test email, database section. You can download all the emails. Here you can see reports. Here you can upload your own email address list and edit the list. So you can use ClickUps to send your own mailing. Integration. In this section you can integrate your ClickUps application with other devices such as marketing automation software and email sending software. And here it is, your app, ready to use. Thank you for your attention and check out other tutorials.